Hello everyone and welcome to a new story video. So I'm sorry, but today's gonna be another voiceover one. Um, please uh, let me know, I guess, if you prefer voiceovers versus like real time or does it really matter? I don't know, but um, I'm just doing what I can at the moment. So yeah, this is the stack that we have for today and we're gonna be starting off with twice as per usual, but there will be chapters in the video if you wanna skip to a particular group. So yeah, let's get into it. So my Twice collection is currently in the process of being downsized. Um, yeah, so there's going to be a lot of things in here that doesn't make sense, like this first page and a lot of the OT9 sets, um, mostly because I'm going through a bias crisis at the moment. Um, I think Momo is my main bias now, but we're, our first card is for What is Love, and I'm not changing this because it is going to be complete. I do have um, Dahyun's pajama card, which is so, so cute. Um, I do have her other dress card on the way. I just feel like no matter how much I downsize this collection, I'm still being overwhelmed. But yeah, I'll just pr um, probably make a video about it. But yeah, for this OT9 set, we're going to be completing it because I have Mina and Sana. And next for Feel Special, I'm actually completing my first OT9 set um, with this gold rose mina card so that's exciting but i'm still i'm just missing one card for this era and that's the jihyo um signature um crystal ball one and then i'm completing this page with this last dion wahoo then for more and more i have two very exciting cards for nyan which are her signature and gold line border cards i mean look at her oh my god but yeah, I finally have these. Um, I was lucky enough to be able to trade for them. And as you can see in the bottom right corner is a Momo um, instead of Dahyun. But as I said, this it's all, it's all under construction. It's a work in progress. Random Mina. But I do have one more card for more and more. And I'm actually just missing two cards overall for more and more. I think one Sana and one uh, Dahyun. I do have this Nyan on the way. So that's why I didn't like replace that filler with another um, card, another random Momo. Um, I'm actually going to be putting a Momo in on this page. So yeah, she's so pretty. I love Momo's eyes wide open cards. And then we're going to be completing another OT9 set. I just realized how many OT9 sets we're completing, but um, this is my second Taste of Love one with this adorable Chaeyoung. So that era is just missing one card from my top three now, and I have actually have a trade set up for it right now, so that's great. But after a year, I'm finally finishing Formula of Love with Dahyun's scratch card, and then I'm actually completing another OT9 set, and it's actually the plushy one because I have Jihyo and Momo. for this binder i just have this more and more unit that i pulled and then we'll be going on to the txt binder so i printed out this little picture of the like sbs gaio i think that's what it's called um broadcast thing because i'm not paying 400 dollars for a piece of cardboard um but it was really cute so i just wanted like a little picture of it but anyways i usually have much more to store for txts and save them for last but i just have this um thursday child broadcast and i would be technically like done for what I wanted to collect for Thursday Child, um, except I bought the third round of EGU. So now I'm starting on my third page of Thursday Child Pops and Fan Signs. But as you can see here, I'm putting in the uh, neighbor cards. Um, I thought these would drop in price, so that's why I waited so long to buy them, and then they never did. So yeah, I just wanted to buy them both at once. Um, but yeah, those spots on the other page will be where the EGU cards go. So next up we have my... Um, inactive collections and ATs binder because ATs um has been a very active collection for me um because I have um how many is this five eight eight of Hong Jun's uh movement pops and this is just me trying to figure out where they go um the one that I just put down is market shop and I'll try to name them all if I can um this one is a wonder wall round what I think I was trying to do was like put ones that were more like album concepty like first so it can like transition i guess and then i put like three of my favorites at the bottom which are the um k-pop store hollow 
and I think the middle one is a sound wave, I could be wrong, and then the that one is a make star, and then the others are another make star, another wonder wall, and I think a yes 24. Um, yeah. So I don't think I'm planning on getting any more pops, so I decided to put the QR card, um, cards on this page from the, uh, spinoff album, or single, really. Um, I guess I could put, like, store-exclusive things, um, to fill up that page, or more pops from this era, but I don't know, we'll just see what happens. But I did put the, like, other, like, um, Witness and A and Z version cards, um, after movement, so... Um, I don't think I really flipped through that, but I'm actually completing movement for Son finally, because I bought these, um, last two cards. And then I decided to be, um, financially stupid and also buy Young's full set. So I have my top three almost complete for this era. And I say almost because I'm a dum dumb dummy and I bought, um, I didn't buy one card on accident, um, so I'm gonna have to find that, which is really annoying, but it's my own fault, and I saw, um, like, a lot of group order managers do, like, big album photo card sales, like, um, once pops calm down, which is, like, how I bought most of these cards, and that's probably what I'm gonna be doing for the new era as well, and I was so close to buying Songwa's as well when I bought Young's, but I, I have to stop somewhere, I really do. The fact that I forgot to buy that card is really bothering me. Like, it's not that big of a deal, but I just hate that I made that mistake. But anyways, we can move on to Luna now. So this is the stack we have for Luna today because I did buy a bunch of Kimlip and Eve's flip that cards because I'm collecting five members for this era. Um, so first up, we have Kimlip. So I'm done with her A version cards, but because I don't think I'm going to be able to get the C version one where she's like poking her cheek um, and she has like the pigtails, I did buy her Make Star Pop, as you can see here, um, to fill the spot, and it's really cute. Um, but I did also join a group order for her Everline, which isn't hollow, so I feel like it wouldn't stick out as much as the Make Star one does. But I also joined it for Eve because I want to put the Everline Pop in place of the uh, one where she's drinking coffee because I don't think I'm going to be able to get a hold of that one. Um, but yeah, I'm actually almost done with Eve. I'm just missing the coffee one, of course, and then one of her D versions. And that D version, I think I pulled in my original album, and then I traded it. So that's great. But I think Eve is honestly... Like, I think I've pulled Eve every era. I don't buy a lot of Luna albums, and especially not now that we're boycotting BBC, but um, just random fact. But yeah, um, here's the A, B, and two of the C versions. Here's where I'm going to be putting the D versions. I'm missing one of each member. So next up, I actually have some cards for Red Velvet. And as you can see, I did move Solgi back into this binder. But I did buy um, 28 Reasons, the special version. So I do have two cards from that. And I also bought Birthday. And I wasn't expecting to pull Solgi, so um, I thought these 28 Reasons cards would fill out this page perfectly because I did also have my um, Solreen unit on this page, but I did end up pulling Solgi in my album. This was my first time ever pulling her. I was gagged, but yeah, I had to move my Solreen unit to my extra um, Red Velvet cards page in my A5, so that's um, what my Red Velvet collection looks like now. Another group I decided to move back into this A4 binder is Ive, and that is because I do not plan on collecting Wanyang moving forward. I'm just trying to um, not collect as many groups so I'm not as overwhelmed. But yeah, I actually do have some cards for Itzy today, and that's because I bought a copy of Cheshire, and I had actually great bias luck. So Region and Yuna are my biases, and for the Yuna card, I pulled the Yuna and Region unit, and for the um, like regular selfie card, I pulled Region. And then for the, um, I got it at Barnes & Noble. So for the Barnes & Noble exclusive, I got Yuna. And then I also pulled Cheryong for this um, neon card, which I originally intended on putting on the back of the, on like any of these cards, but it just would not fit. Like these sleeves are very tight. So 
well, this was just like a spur of the moment type thing, but I ended up moving um, this OT5 set around and putting this uh, Cherry On card with her US exclusive Crazy and Love one. Um, yeah, it's it's something. <laughs> So next up we have an hype in and I'm so close to completing an hype in. I'm actually done buying things. I just need them to come in from Bai, but I'm actually completing Border Day 1 today. The era that has put me through it since I started standing in hype in over a year ago is finally done for my top three. These Jungwon dust cards especially put me through it, but yeah, I'm just, it looks so good when it's done. I mean, these cards are hyped for a reason. They just don't deserve to be so overpriced. But anyways, I'm also completing Carnival with a card that is not very overpriced. I got this for literally $2. Um, yeah, I did switch up and put the lenties in the middle. I just feel like it looks better this way. Um, I thought because the lenties were heavy, they needed to be at the bottom, but I think they're fine in the middle. And then I also have some uh, cards for the essential version, which these, honestly, I found for pretty good prices. I love this Jake Silla one. I don't know. It's one of my favorite and hyping cards, honestly. I, I don't know. It doesn't look very great with the other cards but on by itself yes so um i'm done with jake and jungwon in this video but i'm still waiting on my charybdis sunu to come in so that's why the spot is still empty and then i'm just waiting on one card to come in from bai to complete manifesto but we're done with the concepts at least for both versions And then lastly, I do have this um, Jake uh, Japanese Sadame. I don't know. I think it's the limited B version card. And I don't collect their Japanese things. So that's just going to go there. And I'm using this Heesung to cover up something on the next page. That's a spoiler for another video. So um, yeah. Um, lastly, I just have some like group cards or one group card to add. And then I'm using like dupe group cards as like fillers. So here's that reorganization. Next up we have the P1 Harmony binder and if you'd like to see me set this up I do have a video on that. So yeah, we're going to be completing this first page because I have the other standout card. Um, honestly this collection isn't really like something I'm super motivated to work on. Um, I'm really just waiting for like full member sets to come on Mercari Japan but I decided to give up on finding this last find out card um, and just putting my English version selfie there because they're wearing the same outfit. It's just the background is white instead of brown. But yeah, I've honest, actually already reorganized my um, extras page, so um, I don't remember exactly what I did, but I do have a few um, uh, set-in pops. I forgot the name of the album. Um, I actually pulled a whole Teo set in my album, um, so here's his card. I forgot what version this is. Um, and then I have this Strong Sub pop. It, I don't really know where it's from. Yeah, this is me being confused for a second, but I don't really know where it's from, but the quality of the picture is, like, really weird. Like, I don't know. Like, it kind of looks like what I imagined PVC damage to look like. I'm not sure. I'm probably wrong. I don't really know. It's just, it's hollow. I got it from, like, I ordered it from K-Pop Republic, and they always give out pops, but I don't think K-Town for You is hollow. It's definitely not hollow. I don't know where it's from. But that spot I left open is for a soul pop that I'm going to be storing in the next video. So that was it for a P1 Harmony. So moving on to my main uh, clear A5 binder, I decided that I wanted to move my DK collection back into an A5 because I really feel like a A5 is the best layout for a one member setup for 17. But yeah, this cover is um, not the best. I just made it out of freebies. Please don't judge. Um, I, I'll probably fix it later. 
but anyways, I saw, um, Fairy Ujisu, uh, Chloe, I don't know, you, you, you watched their videos, I'm sure, um, do this with, um, their Dino collection, and that is, like, white sleeving it, or purple sleeving, I don't remember, but I'm do using white sleeves, but for the cards on the right page, I'm putting them in regular dragon shields, and then for the ones on the left, I'm white sleeving, and this just saves a lot of space, especially because I do have two other groups in this binder, and yeah, I think it looks nice because I don't use white sleeves for anything else, but I do have one, an ode card for um, this page, so... And then for the uh, path version, I decided to also collect Hoshi, who is my uh, second bias at this point in time, in this moment, in this second. It changes every day. But anyways, I have Hoshi on the uh, right side and DK on the left. I do have all four of DK's path cards, which is great. I found this in a set on Mercari Japan. Um, it was not the cheapest. Did not expect these cards to be the cheapest. This is probably like the um, Hope version of Face the Sun. But, yeah, I'm still missing one of Hoshi's path versions. I do have a trade coming in for um, one of them, I think. Another uh, collection downsizing is for La Seraphim. I decided to just keep the cards that I had and not try to get the other unions that I needed. Honestly, I would love... To collect ot5 because the seraphim are probably like my favorite fourth gen girl group right now but it's just it's they're very expensive oh i actually do have a card for extraordinary heroes and that is one of juhyeon's i'm collecting two jungsu and two juhyeon cards because um i just don't want to collect everything for them but i do have um another of each member on the way so this era will be complete soon or complete for what i wanted to do for it anyways so now we can go into my extra 17 cards binder for just a second to put away this Sunquan. And I did reorganize this so that is by member instead of era. But honestly, looking at it now, I might reorganize it back to by era because the backs are kind of throwing me off. But as for my little uh, collect book that says Bongyu, but Bongyu is not in here. Um, I actually have a card for Kepler and I decided to downsize Kepler a little bit more and just do one card per era. So this is my one for Wadada and the Blast, and, and now I have the card for Troubleshooter. This is one of her uh, Daydream versions. Um, I don't know. It's really, really cute, and I tried to give up the other one, but I just can't. So it's hiding somewhere in my extra cards binder, which we'll be going into a second for um, another card. So going into the random cards binder, just for one second, I do have this Strongo Digipack card to put away. Uh, I pulled it, and I'm keeping it. So yeah, that was everything for this video. So thanks for watching, and bye!